So again, this idea of being able to put sound anywhere you want to is really starting to catch on. Uh, we've got the military had just deployed some of these into Iraq where you can put fake troop movements a quarter of a mile away on a hillside. <laughs> or you can whisper in the ear of a supposed terrorist some biblical verse. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> so they are claiming that Audrey Hale or Aiden was receiving treatment for a emotional disorder. The shooter who murdered six people at a Nashville Christian school was under doctor's care for an emotional disorder. Hmm. And they won't release the manifesto. How much do you want to bet that that manifesto, well, let's just call it a note because that's what it is. They always do that. That the letter that they left talks about some type of strange thing that they were experiencing. Maybe voice of God, maybe some type of uh, pain, artificial tinnitus, most likely voice of God weapons. Why do I say that? Because 100% of these people in the past, the people that I can actually verify have been hit with voice of God weapons. Aaron Alexis, Myron May, James Holmes, all the way through. What was that dude's name in Arizona that looked like Uncle Fester? All of them. Jason Dalton in Kalamazoo. You name it, all of them were hit with Voice of God weapons. And what they'll do to cover it up is they will actually get a bunch of operators posing as trans people harassing the police department, telling them not to release it, just to get it done. Think about it and make sure you're actually thinking. Now, before people forget, a church was burned down and the trans person who burned it down was hearing these voices that told them that they would mutilate them if Storr didn't burn the church down. Another one comes out and it turns out that they were hearing voices and every single one of these other people were hearing voices. Sooner or later, even the dumbest person is going to put it together. This voice hearing thing is a concoction. It is made up. People don't naturally just hear voices. That used to be, like, uh, allegedly, the worst schizophrenic symptom. The absolute worst. Now it happens to people all the time. Oh, you're taking Vicodin. Oh, right, right. So you're, you're hearing voices probably from the Vicodin. Fucking really? People are that stupid to believe that. It is totally absurd. And the idea alone that naturally... People's brains can just turn on them and start having conversations with them. Like there's a, uh, a twin in there, like a chimera, right? Come on. Come on. This didn't even exist in the DSM-1. And it didn't really even exist in the DSM-2. It began to take hold later. There are many videos on this channel about that alone. But I find it very strange that she was under counseling for some mental disorder and they just don't want to release the manifesto, the alleged manifesto, the letter. So keep your eyes peeled for this. If they do release it and there's something like that in it, they're probably going to black it out because they've just been covering up the voice of God weapons with mental health bullshit lately. So if they do come out with any more details about this person, pay close attention to how they spin the mental health narrative. Because they're going to try to use this as well to take away guns. But if every single one of them are all hearing voices telling them to go do things, every single one, including the Boston bomber, this is getting a little weird, even for the most normie, normie, average person. It's just off the charts. So if it happens again, people could start putting it together. It's crazy that they want to come down on these with these gun laws so bad. Look at Chicago, man. Look at Chicago. Chicago is like gun-free, right? And people are blown away there more than fucking anywhere. It's madness. It is such backwards thinking. Oh, that's it for now. Look out for Charlie. So again, this idea of being able to put sound anywhere you want to is really starting to catch on. Uh, we've got the military had just deployed some of these into Iraq where you can put fake troop movements 
quarter of a mile away on a hillside. <laughs> or you can whisper in the ear of a supposed terrorist some biblical verse. <laughs> I'm serious. 